Ah, the original DS. I remember when I first got my OG DS. It was 2004, the same year that it got released, and I remember fondly which game I got with it. My grandfather just arrived from California, and he asked me if I wanted anything while he was visiting. I had tons of options, but nothing could deter me from my ultimate desire. The new handheld console by Nintendo, the Nintendo Dual Screen. We took a trip to a neighboring city's mall, and once I reached the game shop near the entrance, I ran in and asked for the new handheld as well as a copy of Super Mario 64 DS. But that's not why you're here. You're here to get recommended three games for the original fatty fatty, aren't you? Alright, well I'll give you three good games as well as a rating out of 10. Let's go ahead and get this little list started, eh? Here are three awesome original DS games that aren't Mario, Zelda, Sonic, etc. Number 1. Summon Night Twin Age Summon Night Twin Age for the original DS is a game that I hardly ever see any YouTuber cover. Even in Hidden Gems for the original DS videos and that's a real shame as it's an incredible action RPG. Like your typical RPG, it uses a 3 person party system with the option to switch what characters are in your party as you encounter more heroes as your quest continues. Developed by Flight Plan and published by Atlas, one of my favorite companies by the way, it utilizes a completely touch based movement and combat system that is very easy to get the hang of. I tend to shy away from purely touch based games, but this is one that totally reeled me in with its charm. The story setting takes place in a mystical land named Clardona where Cascuna, creatures with both beastly and human features, and humans live. Constant war between the two have pushed the beast and human hybrids to a distant island where our two protagonists reside. Without giving too much of it away, it's an impressive game with tons of replayability as you can make decisions that impact dialogue as well as the story. Simply put, this is one game you surely need to experience by any means. Summon Night Twin Age gets an 8 out of 10. Number 2, 999. 999, full name 9 hours 9 persons 9 doors, is a horror based escape room visual novel of sorts developed by Chunsoft and published by Axis Games in North America and Spike Chunsoft worldwide. With similarities to psychological and mental manipulation, as those seen in Saw movies, it preys on each individual sense of quote unquote importance or morality, pitting each contestant against each other for the best or forcing them to work together for the worst. There are tons of puzzle solving elements in this game to get your brain juices pumping. Each of the nine persons who are a part of the story, not including the antagonist, have been kidnapped and are being held hostage in a replica of one of the Titanic sister ships. Sinister entities are behind these kidnappings and everyone aboard the ship has found themselves attached to a bracelet that resembles a watch around their wrist. What is this mysterious device linked to? A bomb in their lower intestine. This is one game that I started over multiple times. So much suspense. There isn't much in terms of gameplay as this is a visual novel. It's meant to be read and enjoyed so if you're looking for fast paced action this game is not for you. Not all will make it but not all will die. Who survives is up to you. All in all, 999 gets a 9 out of 10. Number 3, Monster Tail. Alright, alright, I'd like to think I said the best for last. Developed by Dream Rift and published by Majesco Entertainment, Monster Tail, wee. Let me start by saying that Monster Tail is a hell of a tale, pun intended about a young girl who finds a magical bangle that holds awesome powers. With the power of super strong melee attacks and projectiles, you can slide, run, jump, and call upon the aid of an extraordinary extraterrestrial amigo in this totally rad metroidvania slash virtual pet style game for the original DS. I had this one recommended to me by one of my viewers and I'm glad I gave it a try. I spent hours, literal hours collecting power ups, slaying bosses and leveling up my ET bestie as we went exploring and blasting our way past enemies. Truly a game of times. It may look a little bit cute but don't take this game as anything of the sort. It is brutal. There's some bosses that will absolutely make you shed some tears. This is the shortest entry as words cannot put into perspective what this game offers and that's why Monster Tail for the original DS gets a 10 out of 10. 
This brings this video to an end. Any cool unknown games you recommend? I'd like to thank everybody who gave this video a view, especially those who made it to the end. You are the real superstars. This has been that DSKJ. Goodbye and stay peachy. Uh, thank you, friends.